Two years later, Pharaoh had two dreams. He called for the magicians of the land, but even they could not tell Pharaoh the meaning of his dreams. The cupbearer then remembered Joseph. He said to Pharaoh, I have done a bad thing. Back when the baker and I were in prison, we each had a dream that we did not know the meaning of. But there was another person in the prison and he was able to tell us what our dreams meant. Pharaoh called for Joseph. When Joseph came to Pharaoh, Pharaoh said, I have heard you can give the meaning of dreams. Joseph replied, I cannot, but God can give you the meaning of your dreams. So Pharaoh told Joseph his dreams. In the first, he said, I saw seven fat and healthy cows. They came up out of the Nile River. They ate the grass that grew there. But after them came seven skinny, unhealthy cows. And they ate the seven fat cows. But you wouldn't know it, for they were still skinny afterwards. The second dream was like this. Seven healthy and full heads of grain grew up on one stalk. And after them, seven heads dried up by the east winds came up and swallowed the seven full heads. Joseph said to Pharaoh, both your dreams mean the same thing. The seven healthy cows are seven years and the seven full heads are seven years. The seven skinny cows are seven years and the seven dried up heads are seven years. This is what it means. There will be seven years of plenty throughout the land and there will be more than enough food. But after that will come seven years where there will not be enough. And it will be so bad, no one will remember the years of plenty. The land will be destroyed and the people won't have enough to survive. The only way to survive the years where there won't be enough is to store up grain from the years of plenty. Pharaoh then said, the spirit of God is in this man. Can we find anyone else like him? The Pharaoh turned to Joseph and said, God has made all this known to you. No one is as wise and understanding as you are. You will be in charge of my palace. All my people must obey your orders. I will be greater than you only because I sit on the throne. So Joseph was put in charge and made sure food was being stored up for the years they wouldn't have enough. They stored up so much grain that Joseph stopped keeping track of it all and people from all over the land went to Egypt to buy grain.